So, hello everyone, and welcome to How Good Is the Ikumi and Rio Fade Weave. So, this is a banner that um, a lot of people will feel is finally the time to save because we don't need to pull on this banner. It's the first unlimited banner in a really long time, and uh, I'm not gonna go into why people think this is really good, but let's just go over why this banner itself is maybe better than you think or maybe it's actually just as terrible as you think. So in this fade weave, of course, we will have access to Ikumi Makino and Ryo Midori, or just Ikumi and Ryo. And we're just going to go over very quickly what um, these characters basically are supposed to be. So we have Ikumi being the Kyun Maid son, who uh, is, a, interestingly enough, a heal dark type character. And as far as I know, the only heal dark type character. And Ryo, who is a Magia spamming attack type character. Let's look over some of their stats and what they actually have to offer. So uh, our lovely maid uh, Ikumi, who is 19 years old for some reason, is, as I already mentioned, a heal type, which does mean that her stats are rather balanced, but there's not really any aspect that she really excels at. So since her stats aren't that great, maybe her disc set is good. Not really. AABBC is is all right. It's all right, but it's not really a disc set that allows you to excel specifically in one sim single area, but it also doesn't have a specific weakness. It's a decent disc set, but doesn't really do anything special. So maybe her connect is really good. So what does her connect do? Let's cast a spell together. It's how it was translated for NA. It restores HP, otherwise she wouldn't be a heal character. She also gives a little bit of an attack up, although the 35% is pretty weak. 35% is not a whole lot. Uh, and it also has a chance to magia seal an attack. So the heal is really good. 50% of the target's maximum HP is pretty good. That's a decent heal. Uh, the attacker, like I said, is, is alright, but also nothing too special. But now the third effect, the chance to magia seal, that sounds really special. The whole problem about that is that there's not really a whole lot of places where that is really good. In mirrors, this is not ever going to be effective. How often do you get hit by Magia in mirrors? Especially after you've connected. If you connect with someone, um, if it's a good connect, they're going to kill people. Whoever you're connecting with is going to kill people. Um, why would you take a connect that doesn't kill people? Um, I'm not quite sure on that. But let's say you don't kill people and you afflict them with Magia Seal. How often will enemies in mirrors actually get to 100 MP before the fight is over? So it's not going to be for mirrors. Maybe in PvE. Most PvE challenge quests where you fight against witches and rumors, they don't have a Magia, so giving them Magia Seal does basically nothing. So there are a few challenge quests though that do have Magia on enemy uh, a character, so maybe for those quests it's good. That is true, and this is basically the only place where this is, can actually be good, is in some quests where enemies do use Magia a lot. For example, some people remember the challenge quest that had the Holy Mummy, where the Holy Mummy was spamming uh, Tito Finale Holy Knight every single turn. On such a quest, this would be really good. Although, on top of that, there is a big problem. It's a 35% chance to actually apply, and a lot of challenge quests, especially the really, really difficult challenge quests, will have some debuff uh, status ailment resistances, and Magia Seal is a status ailment, um, so that sucks. But hey, because Magia Seal is a status ailment, it disables the enemy evade, and that's basically the best thing this does. It sounds weird, but the best thing that Magia Seal does is it stops enemies from evading. Unless they changed this for some reason, and I never got the memo. If you, if, if this is wrong for some reason, tell me below in the comments. But yeah, so the comment, uh, the, the connect is, it's decent for he for healing. It's pretty good, but for other reasons, it's it's, it's all right. It's all right. Maybe her Magia is great. Let's see what her Magia does. Damage one enemy, 7%, that's standard. Uh, defense up, 45%, that's really good. Really good defense buff. Removes status ailment on all allies and also restores all allies HP. That's a really, really good support Magia. 
So it is a really good support Magia, however it comes with the downside that it is a single target Magia and usually single target Magia aren't that great because most of the time you're going to be hitting two or three more targets on most of the important quests. So apart from it being single target, this is a really good defensive Magia. But once again the question becomes, if you're going so far as to use Magia, why not just use a Magia that kills people? Uh, so overall, when it comes to supports, uh, Ikumi is is alright, she's decent, especially on a team that can use Magia reliably, she's decent. What about her, uh, her personal memo? It removes her own status element, this is terrible. The thing about status ailments is that when status ailments get applied to you, they're instantly active, meaning that if you're stunned, for example, you... Uh, will not be able to draw discs, so your discs immediately get lost. If you get, for example, applied with a damage of a time effect, you will instantly get the first tick of damage right when it gets applied. Uh, and the only thing that you can really prevent is the miss chance. You can uh, remove status ailments before attacking so the miss chance doesn't come into effect. But for the most part, just get an ultimate Madoka. If you don't have your own ultimate Madoka, get a support ultimate Madoka when you go into a quest. And status ailment resistance is a lot more powerful because then you're not even going to get status ailments. So forget about this one, just get an ultimate Madoka and instead just get more offensive options in there. or even more defensive options. Something like, uh, instead of this one, get a Meteor Rain, or if you don't have a Meteor Rain, any other memorial that reduces enemy attack, for example, will work wonders and is way better. That's so much about uh, uh, Ikumi. I'm not gonna have too much to say about Ryo. Ryo is an attack-focused character, as you can see, she has a lot more attack than all the other stats. However, even on Japanese server, she does not have an uncap which sucks. She also doesn't have Spirit Enhancement, which sucks, but that's basically just for Japanese. Uh, what is her connect? Her connect is... Eh, it's also a connect that's not super duper terrible, but it's also something that in most cases is you're not just gonna worry about it. You're not going to be like, oh man, I definitely need Rio connect, unless you want to that 80% anti-evade, which also isn't gonna come in handy too much. If you're playing mirrors, you're not gonna use Rio in mirrors, so forget about mirrors, think about PvE. How often in PvE do you need anti-evade? Almost never. So this is something that is also not that great. The one thing that Ryo is supposed to do is she's supposed to spam Magia because she gets Magia damage up when she uses Magia but it's not a whole lot, it's just 35%. However, if you have a team that can spam Magia, that has a whole lot of exile characters, a whole lot of MP restore, you can spam out a whole lot of Magia, and this is actually really good. If you can spam out multiple Magia, the uh, Magia damage up is going to stack with itself and you're going to do a lot of damage. And to facilitate that, she even restores her own uh, MP. So Ryo is all about spamming Magia, her personal is about that as well. It gives a bit of attack and some a MP gain. However, it doesn't give a whole lot of either of these, so you're still just going to be better off just using uh, any 4-star memoria that gives like 20% or more attack up. Like any 4-star memoria that gives 20% attack up is better than this. Or 25% damage up is also going to be better than this, so just stick with that instead. So this person is also nothing too special. So overall, on a spamming Magia team, she's going to be fine. Maybe you can pair her with a Kardin, who is very cute, and then they're gonna they can be able they can just spam Magia together. Maybe slap a Madoka in there for some more Magia spamage. Uh, so you can use her as a tech choice against specific nodes where um, Forest uh, is quite prevalent. So if, you have, if there's a node that only has Forest types and you want to play for Magia, you you could use her, but. Overall, she's not going to be too uh, amazing, and also both Ryo and Ikumi are both unlimited, meaning they are always active on every single gacha in the game. So even two gachas from now, if there's another gacha, let's say two gachas from now, it's uh, Thousand Year Sakura or Eternal Sakura as it's called in English, you might randomly draw uh, Ikumi, for example, so she can spook you. Which also means that why would you draw on this banner if you can get her on any other banner in the game randomly? So since both of these characters are alright in some case, but in most cases just get outclassed by others because you just want more offensive options in most cases, maybe the two memoria that are part of uh, this gacha are pretty good. Let's see, the Heart Melting Maid or the Love Kyunli Maid, some Heart Melting Maid. 
Crisis Bloom gives you attack up at critical health and defense up at critical health. Here's the thing, this Memoria is 100% useless if you're not at critical health. And when you're at critical health, it's only somewhat alright. I mean, 25% attack up at critical health? That's not a whole lot. For being at critical health, I would expect a lot more than just 25%. Friends gives you 20% all the time. Cubane Knight, I think, gives you 25% all the time, I'm not quite sure. Um, there is actually the attack up and critical health page is empty, like actually empty. Anyway, I think, yeah, I think Cubane gives like 25% or also 20%. So being at critical health, you don't even get that big of a bonus. The better bonus is defense up when at critical health, but if you're already at critical health, getting 50% more uh, defense might not be good enough unless you use it on a super duper defensive tank. But if you're playing super duper defensive tank, wouldn't you just take a memory with you that gives you more defense up all the time? So you don't have to wait until you're at critical health until it becomes active, uh, which I think critical health is I think lower than 35% or 30% like that. So yeah, this one is not too great because it doesn't do anything outside of critical health. I know there's another uh, Memoria, the, uh, as I would like to call it, the game Memoria, uh, that does a similar effect that gives you defense up at critical health, um, which we can look over here, which is indeed the power to protect you. I call it the game Memoria because it's Kokoro saying to you how much she loves a Masara. So this one also gives defense up at critical health less than the other memo, but this one also gives you 30% all the time and is therefore way better for tanks. It also gives 50% damage card all the time, which is also way better. So it just gets outclassed easily by this one for the so on defensive side this one easily gets outclassed and on the offensive side it also gets easily outclassed by others and you wouldn't put this on a character that needs both. So it's just not that great. You also have this other memoria in the pool, Chance to Darkness, 37.5% against all enemies. Don't bother with this one, Darkness is not good enough to be using it like this. I just don't really care about this one. Darkness is not good enough of an effect to be putting it on all enemies, when instead you could be using a memoria that gives you so much damage boost that you just kill everyone. Or gives you so much defensive boost that you just become invulnerable, or a meteor rain, any of these. So yeah, this is the this is the uh, fate weave for Ikumi and Ryo. Overall, it's not terrible, but it's not very good at all. If you want to skip a banner, this is the one. I personally will probably be rolling on it anyway, just because uh, since no one else will be running on it, who is going to record the? Matter of God's story for Ikumi and Ryo. Someone has to do that, and it might have to be me. Um, so yeah, that's that. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you guys next time.